hello friends welcome to my new video so today in this video i'm going to discuss with you all about strom's conoid so many of us get confused uh, about strom's conoid and many of us we think that it's very tough thing but if we learn it by uh, real examples then we will understand all about strom's conoid and it will be very easy to us let's start so strom's conoid what is strom's conoid it is the configuration of rays which is refracted through a toric surface is called as Strom's conoid. So this toric surface means an astigmatic surface where there is two different curvatures are there. So in an astigmatic surface, uh, astigmatic surface there is vertical uh, curvature is there and also horizontal curvature. So let's as an example let's take cornea. So corneal vertical curvature, corneal horizontal curvature. So uh, suppose in astigmatism, with the rule astigmatism, the vertical corneal curvature is more steeper than the horizontal corneal curvature. So the light rays which pass from the vertical meridian will get more converged than the light rays which pass from the horizontal corneal curvature. So uh, this is how we can understand. It's an example only. Uh, so uh, we can understand all about astigmatism and its types also. So let's start. So as you can see in this picture that uh, there is indicate uh, that vertical meridian and horizontal meridian. Okay. So vertical meridian is more curved than the horizontal meridian. So light rays uh, which pass from the vertical meridian um, will uh, get more converged than the light rays which pass through the horizontal meridian. So the vertical meridian is, uh, is indicated by the red line and it get focus over here. Okay, uh, But the horizontal uh, light rays are uh, indicated by blue and they are get focus over the retina. So uh, in this pathway that means in all uh, of this path uh, it creates several shapes and it uh, denotes several types of astigmatism suppose in the uh, first place okay that is uh, place one that is a okay uh, here light rays are uh, if we uh, take our uh, eye over here over this position then you can see that both light rays are focusing behind that eye that is behind the retina of that eye uh, that this red circle indicate uh, an eye okay so uh, here uh, both light rays are focusing behind the eye that means it's an hypermetropia okay both are hypermetropia now in this case uh, where the vertical meridian uh, light rays are focusing over the red uh, here here you can see that uh, one uh, light rays are focusing here but another light rays it is still conver uh, converging. So here one light rays will focus on the retina uh, and another light rays will focus behind the retina. So we will discuss each and every types later on and af uh, after this let us change the color now. and. In this C position, as you can see, in the C position, uh, this is called a circle of least diffusion that we will discuss later on. Okay, here uh, both lights are uh, uh, not focusing on the retina. One is focused in front of the retina, another is focused behind the retina. So let's start uh, discussion. Uh, this each and every parts or each and every points A, B, C, D, E, F separately. So point A here as uh, I told that in point A both light rays are focused behind the retina. So what it indicate that it indicate compound hypermetropic astigmatism. Here you can see the vertical uh, and horizontal meridian are uh, written here the vertical is minimum and horizontal is maximum. Okay. So vertical meridian is more curved than the horizontal. So here. Uh, both light rays are focusing behind the 
retina so it is compound hypermetropic astigmatism now in point b uh, that i told you that in point b the vertical meridian light rays are focused but horizontal meridian light rays are still converging so here one light rays is focused on the retina but another light rays is focused behind the retina so what it indicate that it indicate simple hypermetropic astigmatism as one light is focusing on the retina and another light is focusing behind uh, behind the retina so it is simple hypermetropic astigmatism now in point c uh, you are seeing uh, one light is focusing in front of the retina and another light is focusing behind the retina so uh, here uh, as i showed uh, wait you here black color choose this point okay here one li uh, light is focusing in front of the eye and one light is focusing behind the eye okay so in this point c the uh, vertical uh, light rays uh, are diverging okay this picture is not showing that but uh, you can easily see in this uh, diagram that uh, after focusing in point B, the vertical light rays are diverging and horizontal light rays are still converging. So, in point B, wait, I am choosing the, so in this point C, the divergence of the vertical rays is equal to the convergence of the horizontal rays. So, it will create a circle like this. So, this is circle of least diffusion. So, here what type of astigmatism it will produce? It will produce mixed astigmatism that means myopia as well as hypermetropia can be seen here. So, this is mixed astigmatism. Uh, so, here you can see the circle of least diffusion. Okay. So, here you can see the vertical meridian light rays are focusing and after focusing it starts diverging but the horizontal uh, meridian light rays are still converging so here the uh, divergence and convergence of those uh, both meridian light rays are equal to each other so it creating a circle so uh, to uh, correct astigmatism this circle of least diffusion is very much important to us suppose in my uh, mixed astigmatism there is uh, one light is focusing in front of the retina another light is focusing behind the retina so if we able to place this circle of least diffusion on the retina properly then the person will able to see the image clearly okay so this is the significance of circle of least diffusion and this uh, circle of least diffusion principle is used in jackson cross cylinder testing in subjective retina uh, subjective refraction okay now let's move so in point d here also vertical uh, light rays vertical meridian light rays are still diverging this picture is not showing that vertical uh, uh, light rays are uh, diverging because they took that vertical uh, meridian as the flatter meridian and horizontal is the steeper meridian but uh, i took this picture so here you can see the after the circle of least uh, diffusion uh, the vertical rays are still diverging and horizontal rays are still converging so here also point d here mixed astigmatism will produce where one light will focus in front of the retina another light will focus behind the retina so this will call as uh, mixed astigmatism so uh, to correct this type of astigmatism we need uh, spiro cylinder lenses where a uh, spherical lens will uh, uh, bring the one light rays on the retina and cylinder lens will bring another meridian light rays on the retina so this is how a proper image can be seen by the patient uh, if we correct the refractive error properly now in point e here i am showing you uh, the previous picture so that you can understand properly that what happened in point e so in point e here you can see that the horizontal uh, meridian light rays are focused to this point but 
vertical meridian light rays are still diverging because these vertical meridian light rays are uh, focused earlier okay so they are diverging but horizontal meridian light rays are focused so here a vertical line will form so in uh, the first focus in first focus a horizontal line is formed why because the vertical uh, li meridian light rays are focused to point b but the horizontal meridian light rays are still converging so there is horizontal line is formed but in uh, point e the vert uh, va vertical meridian light rays are diverging but horizontal meridian light rays are focused so here it will produce a vertical line so what type of uh, astigmatism it will produce it will produce a uh, simple myopic astigmatism because one light is focusing on the retina another light rays will uh, is focusing in front of the retina so it will call as simple myopic astigmatism and in point f in point f uh, what we saw in this uh, previous in this picture is that in point f both light rays are now focused and they start diverging here the divergence of the vertical um, meridian light rays are more than the divergence of the horizontal meridian light rays but both these light rays focused uh, in front of the retina so what type of astigmatism it will produce it will produce compound uh, no it, uh, yes it will produce compound myopic astigmatism so it will produce compound myopic astigmatism where both light rays are focusing in front of the retina so that's all friends thanks for watching and please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you so much